Hi everyone, my name is Nigel and I got a video for 197 people by Nigel. What? We're filming in the daytime now? What is going on? My outfit today is terrible and I don't want to hear about it. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I I'm amazing. Since so many of you were asking me and so many of you were so curious and because so many of you are curious as to how the chaos ensues in the workplace i'm gonna give you a room tour because i think it's time you guys see how the crib has been holding up or what it even looks like my room has gone through many changes every year of high school i feel like something happens but i think junior year when i got the loft bed that's when i really started to settle in and then you know i collected a couple things over the years and now we're at this place of art mixed with music mixed with trash and just random things i find on the street and turn them into earrings except these i made these so without further ado i'm going to give you an impromptu room tour are you ready all right we're gonna have to start at the very beginning welcome to the front door of casa de nigel right here we have a little star it's just to give you a little preview of what's going on in the inside and if we look down mm, you can see my shadow and you can see that I still in fact film on my phone. You will also see these little marks right here and right here. This is because the dog likes to jump to open doors. My door, fun fact, does not have a lock so people can just walk in whatever. What if I was making love to the person I'm in love with, my father, and someone just burst right in? That's going to be awkward because we're probably not wearing protection. Now let's eh, 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 our way in. Oh yeah, she does that. <laughs> I don't know how to, okay. This is the door. If you remember the video from like 2020, wow, that was during COVID. I had a shaved head, um, if you remember that video. Um, this is the door, the door of secrets. See, I like the door because because on the outside of the door, you see just like a regular door with like a little star on it. Just casual, just regular door. But on the other side of the door, that's part of the inside of the room, it's art. It's, um, well, bad art, but I think it's pretty. It, and I think that's kind of like a nice metaphor. This, all of this over here is my art wall. I keep all of the art things, everything art. The art wall was first founded with um, a couple pieces. Some of them were when I took art <laughs> back in freshman year. This wall is with, uh, some of these pieces are old, though I'm realizing time is just an illusion. Um, They're back when I was a freshman. Someone has started to mow the lawn. Excuse me, don't you know I'm an international superstar? Some of these pieces of art are um, really old and some of them are honestly not that good. But um, if in case you're wondering, um, this piece of art right here with the two lovebirds, um, um, the, the heaven and hell. It's very obvious and they're holding hands. Oh my gosh, Romeo and Juliet. That's I, I like that one I also thoroughly enjoy this piece of art I think there's there's a lot of meaning behind this one and I don't feel like I could get into it right now Ugh, Who am I Picasso? But yeah, some of these I wish um I had the skill this there's a real big problem with this one because yeah there's like a foreground but there's no background like what is behind that fence also if you look closely the fence doesn't have blue which means there's no sky behind that fence, apparently. Some of my friends painted that one. And then that's Friends. I love Friends. I'm literally watching it. Um, and I'll probably watch it as soon as I finish this. This is like my fifth round of watching the whole show. Another thing that I find interesting is this mirror right here. It's just a mirror, right? It just does mirror things, like show you your flaws and imperfections. But what I really like is that I placed it on the art wall. That way, every time you look at yourself, you think to yourself, I am a piece of art. And I'm here to tell you, you aren't. But that was completely unintentional, that the mirror is on the art wall. I love myself. This right here is the closet door. I should probably do a separate video on the closet door because that could be a whole thing in, a, in of itself. Um, I usually keep something that I'm working on or have already worked on on the thing just so um we can look at it. I work really hard on these projects, guys, and I want to look at them because I want to make it clear that it wasn't a waste of time. By the way, this dress is almost a year old. Down here we have... I honestly don't know. But we also have the amplifier, which has a little star on it just to make it myself. Good amplifier, I like it. It's red, it matches the guitar, which we'll get to the music wall soon. And then we also have a little section of earrings that, I wear, that I've worn to school, except some of them I haven't worn because I'm not that brave. And some of them are really heavy. Moving right along, you'll see the dresser. And on the dresser, there's just a bunch of stuff. I don't know how to put it. Candles, wallet, this is a new addition. I kind of like this addition. This is something I completely made up like last week, maybe. The bracelet tree. I just hang bracelets on here. Ain't that fun? I have a desk on my dresser, but it would have made sense to put my desk 
on my desk. Some hair things, because now that I don't have high school to worry about, I have nothing to do. So I play with hair. I really need more better um, like mental health coping mechanisms because every time something happens, I just want to do something to my hair, whether it be dye it, cut it, curl it, straighten it, anything. But you know, it's either this or drugs. So I think, I think this one's a good one. Right here, this little gingerbread fellow, this is Tiffany, not Tiffany, Tiffany. You know, I used to have a collection of star necklaces. I don't know where they went. This is the last one and she's falling apart. Right now I've settled with this little choker and I, it'll have to do for now. Anyway, that just about finishes the wall. This is, I, 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 I'd, I'd consider this the art wall. There's just, this is where the art goes. Moving on to this wall. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. There's a lot, <laughs> okay. We'll start up here. Space ceiling that I also have a video on if you were to care to venture that. I also like that there's um, more stars over there with a little um, moon thing. See, it works. It makes sense, guys. This thing, which honestly, I don't know if I want to keep because I don't, I mean, maybe I'll film videos here, but it's just kind of there. I used to use it for green screen, but I literally have a green wall that I haven't used. Clothing that sometimes I will wear, sometimes. Um, there's a lot. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> I don't want to be judged. Stop it. Couch. Nice couch, I think. What I like about this couch is that it folds out into a bed, which I will not be doing for you. This little fish right here is my fish, Ravioli. I got it from the thrift store that I got fired from. Yeah, he kind of chills up there. Nice to see you, Ravioli. And then there's a dog, uh, a graduation dog. I haven't given him a name because I'm not crazy. I don't give names to stuffed animals. And then right here are just things I hang up, including belts, a hat, um, some jackets, tote bag, which I do use, to be honest. Ooh, here we have a... Trompe de Chaz. I don't really know if that's what you call it. Yeah, I stole this from um, Band. It was a decoration and it doesn't work. I mean, it does, it makes noise, but not very good sound. It's, it's fine. You can wear it as a necklace, which I did do for one day of school. I also keep a harp here that I don't really use because it is in fact missing the C string, which um, I kinda, I kinda would like to have. Right here, we have paint bottles, including nail polish because and then my various collection of glasses. I should really start wearing them more, but at this point, it's just a collection. That about summarizes this whole wall. Moving right along, we got this wall. I like to think of my room as this. This side is the the side, the wall of art, you know? And on the opposite side, we got the, the wall of music. Not to say that art and music are necessarily competing against each other. I think they're basically the same thing. Just one is with sound and one is with visuals. But that was also unintentional, but here we are now. I also collect instruments, um, but I, but uh, um, in my defense, I do play a good amount of these. Sometimes I need to vent and I do it to the instrument. Rapid fire, rapid fire. We got two electric guitars. One of them is smaller than the other. I prefer the smaller one. And then an acoustic guitar, which also doubles as an electric guitar. We got a soprano ukulele, which is the smallest one. That's not true. There's also piccolo ukuleles, which are incredibly little. We got a guitar lele. And then we got an electric ukulele up here, which I used once, but it just, every time I plug it in, it just doesn't, doesn't seem to pick up any sound, which makes me sad because I do like this and I made it myself. Like I, I made the star on it. So we'll probably have to get that checked up. I also think it's funny how there's like guitar, ukulele, guitar lele. Also, I used to keep this little guy on this side and I used to keep the ukulele that I play the most right here. The wall used to look like this and I prefer this because, you know, it just, it looks cool. There's like a lot of things you can touch and play with. But one day I was climbing up the ladder and then I dropped the little ukulele to the floor and then it got a big crack on it. You can like see like where it was damaged and I tried to like repair it by like adding like some shiny thing, some shiny glue on it. Yeah, ever since then, I just was too scared to like have that happen again, so I don't do it. Now instead I keep the main ukulele on my bed, which we'll get to. Right over here we have um, downstairs, as opposed to upstairs, um, a lot of stuff here. Now there isn't really an organized thing to the chaos. By the way, I do have a photo of myself and it's not because I'm narcissistic, it's because I'm a psychopath. I got a picture of my enemies and then you know, some random crap that I don't even know. And downstairs, it's terrible too. I added these blankets to try to make it more comfortable. Now we got this, oh gosh, this is gonna take a minute. This makes it look like I have a collection of shoes. I guess I do. 
Some of them are very bad though. This section turned into mostly things that I keep down here that I don't really use. That DS I got at a thrift store for $10. Same one that I got fired from. <laughs> we move up a little bit. More chaos. We got some beanie babies and some crochet things that I'm working on or just gave up on. My collection of small dinosaurs which have been chewed on by my dog. Thank, thank you for that, Nyoki. And we got the rubber ducky collection with its master, the graduate, being its leader. My yearbook and my band book, which I kept. I don't know if we were allowed to keep that, but I, I kept it. These are the books that I've read in general. I recommend The House on the Cerulean Sea and Under the Whispering Door. Those are very good. We move upward and we have a collection of yarn and more knickknacks. There's a thing of seashells right there. A lot of these are percussion instruments. I also keep my triangle up here. Dad had slay the boots house down little fun fact all of my instruments have a star on them somewhere you see except the triangle and harmonica because i don't know how i'd put it on those literally they all have a star on them somewhere or some of them just are the star but that just about does it for what's here i'm not gonna lie i don't spend most of my time at the desk it seems like i would but i really spend most of my time on the couch does that say something about me i don't know but we must go up and i hate to say it but up here it's kind of boring up here is what i call the stage because there's a lot of blankets a lot of things to try to snuggle up on i also keep my main instrument right here some people sleep with teddy bears i sleep with your dad from up here you can get a view of like what it's like down there you can feel like you're above everyone and someday i will be everything the light touches nigel you will get to own someday. <laughs> the light literally is touching nothing. And that's really all there is up here. I should really like add some some more things. Also, I completely forgore to show you this. So like I have a little cord that like it's an extension cable. I pull on it like that frequently. And every now and then I'll take out the charger. Are you ready? Uh now this bedroom is lit. <laughs> At nighttime when everything is dark. I will turn that on because these are too bright, this is too bright, but this one is just right. Picture of the Beauty and the Beast. If there's any debate on which is which, I will fight you. And that about summarizes everything down here. Also, I don't want to hear anything about my outfit. I know it's terrible, but it's also hot. I painted a rainbow on my fan. I also keep Pedro and Pedra. Yes, they are a couple, and yes, they are siblings. How nice of them to always be together. I broke Pedra. I feel like I'm always done, but then at the same time, I always remember, oh, what about that thing? I'll probably hate myself later for not showing you something. That about does it for the crib. Thank you guys so much for watching this video because I don't know why you wouldn't enjoy watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe because I'm very, very desperate. And I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Slay.